hello everyone in today's lecture we are going to discuss uh, this points the first point is rapid application development that we call the r a d rapid application development then we will see what is dot net and uh, then we will discuss about the dot net framework and uh, in the end of the lecture we learn the concept of clr that we call the common language runtime so <clears throat> let's start with the rapid application development so basically uh, we use pre built we use pre built objects like uh, there are uh, many objects we will have like a timer then some grids and uh, some other components so there are pre built objects so we will use to make program and application development much faster let's understand the concept this is the concept of the reusability means already something is there it might be system defined or a system developed already developed or suppose during the application we are building some class or the objects and repetitively we can use that so that is the concept of the reusability similarly like uh, we use function repetitively in our program right we call one pro one function again and again so that we call the reusability this is the first point then uh, second is the result is shorter development cycle easier maintenance and the ability to reuse objects for other projects of course and it gives the stability and the easier design the reason is the reason is once i have suppose once i have suppose i have uh, developed a component uh, let's say component a right i have com designed this component and the similar and this a component is nothing but my login form let's say my login form right i have already created this login form so i know that in future all the application or whatever the application i'll develop i'll need this login thing right so i can say that or better i can use this concept or this form in my other projects so ultimately what we are doing we have once we have developed once we have <coughs> build this and then we can use it again and again and again yeah some minor changes we need to make like database connectivity and other things but the design right the design is same so we can use this component we can reuse this component and it gives the stability the stability means every time i don't need to check for the uh, constraints like id and password constraints like id contains so and so letters password should not be visible like that right so it gives the stability third point says one of the major premise on which industry implementation of op is built is greater usability of the code of course and this is nothing but the concept of the inheritance right because inheritance is nothing but that something is there and we are using that is the concept of inheritance so when we talk about the red rapid application development we must understand that it is nothing but the concept it is nothing but the concept in which we use pre built objects we use pre built objects and of course something is already there something is already built it in that case my application development will be bit rapid right bit faster so here we have the benefits of object oriented design and programming uh, which gives the rapid application development so the benefits reusability stability easier design and the faster design so this is about the rapid application development now what is dot net so these are the general points these are the general points like dot uh, net is of course free it's open source we have already downloaded so we know it's free and open source cross platform the meaning of the cross platform is you can uh, 
built on other os and you can use on other os that we call the cross platform for building modern scalable and uh, high performance desktop web cloud and uh, mobile application so this type of different applications we can develop using the in the dot net uh, the latest version is dot net 5.0 actually it is launched in uh, november 2020 only so this is the latest version so the dot net ecosystem has a single common library we don't need to use multiple libraries it contains the single common library it has a single runtime environment and a different language compilers it has that we will uh, see in the next slide that what it is language compilers right dot uh, net provides a framework it provides a framework and the different inbuilt libraries which we can use for the for to develop the applications right as a net dot net standard it's a standard then uh, we have different uh, runtime components then uh, language compilers and uh, languages like c sharp f sharp and the visual basic you can uh, use to develop the application in the dot net framework so if you talk about the tools so then uh, visual studio then uh, visual studio for of course windows then for the mac <coughs> then uh, it provides the visual studio code then uh, we can it, it also provides the command line interface right so these are the tools which we normally use to build of course we can build the application we can test the application and also it gives the features and the facility through which we can deploy the application dot net applications so these are the some common points related with the dot net so <clears throat> here we have a dot net framework this framework is basically contains three layers three layers means it's an first is a application layer first is an application layer so two various types of application of course we can develop the web application and the windows application so in the windows application we have a controls and many other things we can develop of course and uh, in web application web pages and the web services this is the first layer this is the first layer where we actually uh, work with the gui right gui or an interface in the second layer in the second layer of the dot net framework we have basically class libraries inbuilt class libraries it's a it has a rich uh, uh, source of uh, class libraries then um, os classes are there then uh, file classes database classes or a database and the security layer is there all these things we will uh, gradually learn it during our practicals and other theory sessions in more detail and uh, of course the more you will use the dot net more you will get an idea about all these terms and the last one is the clr so this framework mainly contains four sections or the three sections in the first layer we have the web application thing then we have uh, windows this is the first layer then we have the second layer and then the third layer this basically this third layer is uh, finally final layer which <coughs> deals with the hardware and this is the first layer this is the gui and this is the layer which connects both the things like uh, you can use different class libraries classes all the classes right database security and everything comes under the second layer so this is just an overview of the dot net framework so these are the points which uh, we just uh, discussed about so you can just go through all the points like it provides a programmer with a rich set of classes as i told you rich set of classes and uh, that we call the dot net framework 
क्लास लाइब्रेरी इन बिल्ड लाइब्रेरीज राइट एंड यू कैन यूज डिफरेंट फंक्शंस फ्रॉम दैट लाइब्रेरी देन ऑफ कोर्स वी यूज ऑल दिस लाइब्रेरीज टू बिल्ड दी एप्लीकेशंस क्लास लाइब्रेरीज द सेकेंड इज क्लास लाइब्रेरी नॉर्मली ऑफर्स टू सिग्निफिकेंट बेनिफिट्स सो वट आर दिस टू डिफरेंट बेनिफिट्स सो द फर्स्ट प्रोवाइड्स कॉमनली यूज क्लासेस कॉमनली यूज लाइक इफ इफ आई से लॉग इन सो लॉग इन इज अ कॉमन क्लास विच आई नॉर्मली यूज इन ईच एंड एवरी एप्लीकेशन सो डॉटनेट प्रोवाइड्स दिस टाइप ऑफ क्लास लाइक लॉग इन क्लास इज देयर एंड यू कैन डायरेक्टली यूज दैट क्लास राइट सो this is one thing and second all programmers has access to the same common class so there is no any restriction so everyone okay, everyone can use it we just need to ensure it right so then it allows programmers using almost any dot net enable programming language to write applications and components we call it uh, classes as i told you during the login example that uh, we call it uh, component that can be made available to others it is like uh, uh, any language we can use like you can use c sharp you can use f sharp you can use vb any application any programming language you can use to write your application its class library is full featured and extensible these are the general uh, points right and the last point says libraries provide almost any class that a programmer needs to interact with operating system and other system such as database and network so in short in short dot net come framework contains all the libraries almost all the libraries and so we call it a red rapid application development right so it is about the dot net framework and the uh, last is a clr so if you notice that clr that is the common language runtime we know what is uh, what is uh, runtime right what is runtime so as you can see in the diagram that um, suppose you are using the vb.net and c sharp so of course both have uh, different syntax so for both the languages we need a compiler suppose you are using both the languages but after that there is a intermediate language there is an intermediate language so this both the languages will be converted into the ms msil and this language this language needs only one compiler or the one runtime that we call the common language runtime and also we call it a just in time compiler which directly uh, communicate with the which directly converts it into the native code and uh, which finally interacts with the hardware so it's a common language runtime it's very easy the name as the name itself says it's a common language runtime means for all the languages we have a common runtime right so this is about the uh, topics like uh, red dot net dot net framework and the clr